Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be tasting corn smut, also known as huitlacoche. Now, huitlacoche is also known as corn fungus, Mexican corn truffle, and it is actually a young corn that has been parasitized by a fungus. It's not technically a mushroom, it's a fungus, and it was considered a blight. It creates a corn that's kind of purplish, gray in color, and the kernels are misshapen until some Someone tasted it and said, hmm, this is actually quite delicious. And in Mexico, fresh huilacoche is actually quite prized and more expensive than corn itself. Huilacoche has also been found to have higher amounts of protein and more specifically the amino acid lysine, which is an essential amino acid that the body does not create and one that we need to get from our diet. So, huilacoche is a good thing, and I have been dying to taste it, but I've never been able to find it until now because lovely Trina sent me this can right here. Thank you, Trina, so much for sending this to me. I can't wait to taste it today. I'm going to prepare simple quesadillas that were inspired by a channel that I've fallen in love with and I've just recently subscribed. I will put a link down below to her channel. And the channel is called De Mi Rancho a Tu Cocina and it's hosted by lovely Angela who lives in Michoacan, Mexico. And she makes these lovely recipes and it's just really, really sweet. So today I'm going to be making quesadillas that were inspired by her recipe for quesadillas with squash blossoms, which just look outstanding. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our salsa. It's gonna take the most time. Now, Angela cooks everything on her comal, which is like this flat surface griddle, and I'm gonna be emulating that with this little cast iron griddle that I've got going here on my induction burner. And what we're gonna do is just char all of our salsa ingredients. So I've got some tomatillos here, and I'm gonna just put those on. I've got a couple jalapeno peppers, and I've got one clove of garlic. And what we're gonna do is just char these. This is on medium-high heat, and we're just gonna let these sit here until the skins get nice and black, and then we're gonna rotate them so they get a little bit of that kind of roasty char on all sides. So not only will we get a nice roasted flavor, but the heat will also cook the ingredients a little bit, so it'll make it a lot easier to mash into salsa. Here are my vegetables. First, we're gonna take our clove of garlic, drop that in there, and add a good pinch of salt. That's of course going to season it, but it's also going to facilitate kind of mashing everything together because it's got a little bit of grit. So mash our garlic. So I've been binge watching Angela's videos and one of the reasons why is because I get to kind of work on my Spanish comprehension, which is very, very rusty. <laughs> but she has such great videos and she's just so stinking cute. It's just, it's great. So I feel like I'm learning on a couple different levels. I never knew that a clove of garlic in Spanish is called a diente, which is a tooth, a tooth of garlic that is so stinking cute. It's so cuter than clove of garlic, a tooth of garlic. <laughs> Alrighty, back to mashing the garlic. I've got two jalapenos, which I've roasted. I'm cut off the stem and just mash those up. Actually, since I have five tomatillos, I think I'm just gonna go with one jalapeno. If it needs more spice, I'll add more after. Go ahead and add the tomatillos. Kind of a noisy operation, so I will be back once this is all ground up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open our can of huilacoche. Now here it is, and this contains huilacoche, onion, corn, canola oil, water, salt, spices, and citric acid. So this is not just the corn smut itself, it contains other ingredients. So I think what I'm gonna do is just warm this up and then use that as an ingredient in my quesadilla. Oh, there it is. Hmm, smells like canned corn and onions. Doesn't smell bad at all. Let's take a look at the contents of this. Now it does have a very dark color to it. Vegetal, looks like it's almost like stewed spinach or something. It's really difficult to see what's huilacoche in here, but 
I definitely see some corn and onion. Because this contains all these other ingredients in there, I'm just gonna simply warm this up and then we'll use it in our quesadillas. I forgot to mention when you're making your salsa to add a couple splashes of water and that will make it more slouse-like but it also will facilitate the whole grinding process. There we go. I would love to try Huilacoche fresh. Might have to make a trip to Mexico. <laughs> There's actually lots of food from Mexico that I want to try. Okay, so that's bubbling up nicely. I'm gonna set this aside on low to keep this warm. Now I'm gonna get my griddle back here and I'm gonna warm up some corn tortillas. Now of course, Angela makes her tortillas fresh with freshly ground masa which is pretty amazing she has this wonderful grinding stone and she has this beautiful technique you know that she's been making tortillas all her life i am not that talented so i'm just using some pre-made corn tortillas and i'm just warming them up here on my griddle and i've got a little bit of cheese here i'm just using some jack I'm going to spoon some of my vilacoche on top. Oh, these are going to be so good! And then we're going to fold these in half. Give them a good press. <laughs> these are looking so scrumptious already. Those are looking so stinking good! Let me take some quick pictures and I'll be right back. The time has arrived, the time to taste the beautiful quesadillas. Aren't they lovely? They're so stinking cute, little tiny quesadillas. Now we're gonna take our beautiful salsa and take a scoop of that, place that right inside there. Yep. Both of them. Mm-hmm. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Buen provecho. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. What I find interesting is there, there are different levels of corn flavor in here. We've got the toasted corn flavor of the tortilla. And then we've got the corn smut or the huilacoche in there which has a nice corn flavor that's sweet and earthy. It is kind of mushroomy. And then we've got the richness of the cheese that kind of melted and ties everything together. And then we've got our salsa in there that adds a little bit of tanginess, a little bit of garlic. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, so good. That salsa verde is delicious. Super simple, nice and roasted. You've got that little spicy piquancy from the jalapenos and the tomatillos add a nice acidity to it. Ooh, I'm so glad I just went with one jalapeno. That is plenty spicy enough, but absolutely delicious. And don't skip the roasting part. It really adds a nice charred flavor to this and also kind of concentrates the flavors and it also just makes it easier to mush everything together. I also want to taste the huila culture by itself, so let's give this a go. I'm glad I did. There's a slight bitterness to it, but it is also simultaneously sweet and tastes a little bit corny. It's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Definitely has a taste of canned corn because this has been canned. There is corn in it. I taste some onion. There is a slight bitterness to it as well. I think it's also important to remember that this is a blend of ingredients. This also contains onion. This also contains corn and some spices, so I can't really assign specific flavors to the huila coche itself. I'll have to get some fresh and prepare it myself to actually give you a thorough analysis of what the huila coche itself tastes like. If you don't have any huila coche, I definitely recommend making these simple quesadillas. Go ahead and make yourself some salsa verde. It's actually very, very simple to put together. 
Use a blender if you don't have a mortar and pestle, that's totally allowed, but do not skip the roasting part. I think that's essential. It imparts a really wonderful roasty, nutty flavor to the salsa. Really, really key. Corn tortillas toasted up with some cheese and some salsa verde. Yes. Don't have any huila colche? That's okay. Substitute whatever you got. You can use squash blossoms like Dona Angela does. You can add some beans if you like. Add some protein. Add whatever you like, but definitely try it because it's delicious. <laughs> Big thanks again to Trina again for sending me the Huila Coche. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Do I have Huila Coche in my teeth? I feel like I have like, you know, gray, black in my teeth. <laughs>